um welcome to from the journal of Randa Horn Cotton. My name is Mubokanian. Okay. And this is a indie game. Yeah. Okay. I haven't played it. Okay. Let's just jump right in. I swear, everything I'm about to tell you is true from my own experiences and from the journal of Randolph Warren Carter. Okay. Okay, just saying that that right there is somehow reminding me of someone from Star Trek even though I haven't seen it. To my dear grand nephew George, I realize we have never met, and that I have never truly been a part of your family. These monthly letters will be a nuisance, right? Yeah, nuisance. Yet, I hope you aren't ignoring my simple plea. I do not have much time left in this world. And I am in dire need of an executor. Why do you need an executor? To take care of the many things which I will leave behind. Please travel to my home so that we may speak in person. I fear the most dire of consequences if our meeting does not happen soon. So please, I beg of you, send some response to relieve this lonely old man of his despair. With love, Randolph Carter. Keys to move space to interact. F to turn on flashlight. Hold down. Okay. Ooh. 
to my nephew George, should you ever read it. It has become too much. The screaming in my head. The abhorrent monstrosities which I pitch picture in the darkness following me every day, only to escape from view the instant I turn my head. This insanity, which I have been struck with, has not to do with mental illness or dysfunction of the brain. No, I tell you, and pray that you believe me, that this madness which enveloped my psyche is one cast down from an ancient cosmic force. It is from some god with an unspeakable name and a visage which invokes unfathomable terror. That said, I must give you the following instructions before I am betrayed yet again by my mind. Okay. You must go upstairs to my study and find a peculiar book. The Necronomicon. The page of the proper incantation is marked, yet never speak it aloud, not unless the time is right. On the first of every month, you must travel to the basement, book in hand, and speak aloud the incantation. Do not venture into the attic. Please, I beg of you to do these things, and perhaps your fate will not be the same as mine. What do you mean by that? Well, for all of this, I am sorry, Randall Ford. Um. Um, from the Journal of Randolph Warren Carter. Um, um, November 7th, 1904. Today I leave for one of the most groundbreaking archaeological expeditions in history. My journey will take me to the lush jungles of the Amazon rainforest. There a deal has finally been brokered with the local inhabitants, though certainly it is our excavation team that will come ahead of this exchange. For we will be given the right to research, explore, and in the manner of speaking, plundered one of the ancient temples. Never before has an historian, archaeologist, or other man of science been allowed. So, botany? Would, <laughs> what if you study botany? Is that science? has been allowed access to these temples. However, there is a hint of sadness with me. For I must leave uh, my beloved Lillian at home. This year-long campaign will surely be lonely without her in Greece. Though, perhaps, as a token of my love and thoughts for her, and if it is not too much of a bother, I can send back some minor knick-knack or other curiosity that I find unattended within the temple walls. My sadness regarding Lillian in the side. I do, however, feel positively giddy simply thinking of the archaic wonders which we might find in this mysterious
from a journal of Randolph Warren Clark. January 18, 1905. After two months of digging in the fruits of our labor, I finally surfaced. Aside from some strange hieroglyphs that our resident linguist was enamored with, the temple itself was rather vivid. No, the temple itself was rather void of interest to the academics on our team. However, after some minor excavation around the outside and a few sticks of dynamite to remove it and an antiquated, antiquated stone wall, we opened the doorway into an underground crypt. Yeah, that's my way of entering something. Gathered around the open portal, we stared deeply into the black void before us. I found myself shaking, fearing the seemingly never-ending darkness that laid before me. And yet, thoughts of the knowledge we might gain amongst the many other treasures had entered my mind and calmed my spirits. With newly found resolve and torch in hand, I led the party inside the dungeon, hmm. illuminating the cracked stone walls, which had been untouched by light for some hundreds of years. From the journal of uh, January 20, the cavernous crypt was much larger than any of us would have expected. The various hallways and corridors seemed to stretch endlessly through the darkness. I do not even possibly get it. Yeah. Okay, so Hello. Okay. What do you Okay, question. Okay, that wasn't open. Okay, from the Journal of Randolph Warren Card. December 26, 1906. It was on Christmas Day. That she first felt her Okay.
ओके ओके आई शुड लाइक स्टोरी सो Relative killed himself because of something in the darkness driving him mad. Huh. Okay. Nice. Okay, that was a great story. Okay. Move on again. It. <laughs> yes. Don't mind. Okay. Look. Like, comment, subscribe, share for more content. I'll see you whenever the next one is. Happy holiday. Wherever you are. This will probably be up today or tomorrow. Different holiday. Or if I don't get past it. And. I am working on another book. Hopefully, this one goes better. Mm. Okay, I might take uploading serious next year. And I found a game one. The site called. There are things in the actual market. It's like, no, really. Okay, good night.